So I lead an executive program that's all about how business people can work closer with their IT people to get advantage from IT. Um, you know, we may not think that we're in the IT business, but all companies, uh, any company of any size, you cannot survive anymore with IT, without IT in your organization. And so increasingly it's important for not only the technical people to really know what they're doing, but really to have find ways to bridge that gap between the IT and the business people. Uh, if you think about, you know, between 2 and 5% typically of a company's revenue goes to IT, that means that there's 98 to 95% of revenue left to be managed. And frankly, where we get the value from IT is not in making IT work better. It's using IT to make the business processes work better. It's finding a way to either make decisions better, basically because we've got better information. We could get more, more strategic targeting of our markets. We've got just better decisions on how we manage inventory, those kinds of things. Or, you know, just better efficiency, making the processes just work better or more reliably. That's how IT is going to work. And frankly, the IT people, fantastic people, they can work really hard, but they only have so much influence over the rest of the business. We're finding the companies that really get this, that really use IT for advantage, we're finding 21% better financial performance in those companies compared to others. We're finding 40% better return on IT investments in those companies than others. And it comes from finding ways to work not on the technology side, but also the business side. So when we teach the course, we're going to teach how to do that. So we talk, for example, about, well, we'll have a set of sessions where we do, we teach one framework, investment decision making, um, governing, what decisions do you want to make? How do you manage risk in your organization? How do you get to a solid information backbone that's the source of all value? And what, what we tend to do is to give one framework and lots of examples from great companies. So whether it's how State Street has created the, a global brand in financial services by really getting better handle on their IT, whether it's 7-Eleven Japan, which just leads their industry to unbelievable numbers by this backbone where every store manager has control over what comes into the store and can do experiments on a daily basis to see what's in there and yet the company can roll that up. Um, whether it be how Intel has taken their IT organization from being really disrespected to being a source of innovation in the firm because they make better prioritization decisions because they do a better job of working with both sides of the house to get value out of what they're doing. These examples are, we show them all the time and it's one of the, the joys of teaching the course is being able to share these examples. The other joy of being in the course, though, is the kinds of people that come. 30% um, of the people at this course are at the very tops of their organizations, either the top of the enterprise, the top of a business unit. It's the most fascinating discussions, whether the CEO, the CFO, the COO of their area, uh, or whether it's somebody who reports to those people. I just This is my favorite course of the year because the kinds of discussions we have are just phenomenal.